Hi everyone and welcome to Selene Hurley Show and I'm your host, Selene Hurley. And today's topic we're going to talk about is where have all the good men gone? Because, well, I always hear too many women when walking around saying, there's no good men out there or men are all the same or I can't find no good men or all the good men are taken, gay or married. Like, really? But ladies, here's something. There's some news. There is good men out there. There's actually a lot. Huh. Even maybe the guy that left you. He was a good guy. He just didn't know how to handle it. Um, when girls, they they have, like, like, uh, expectations of men. Like, you guys, let me, let me, um, Rewind here. So, what do girls expect from guys? All girls are like, hmm, I want my guy. I've heard, I've talked to, I've talked to so many of my friends and they're just like, I want a guy that has a car. I want a guy that has a job. I want a guy that makes bread. I want a guy, I want a guy that looks good. But, I was like, think about it ladies. What do you have to bring to the table when it comes to guys? Um, you want a guy with all that, but you ain't got shit. You, and this is not for everyone. This is for some people. One of these that I'm going to name is going to apply to you in some way. Some don't have a job. Some don't have a car. Some don't even have a damn phone. Some, (laughs) some don't look good. Like they don't, I mean, okay, they can look good. They just don't present themselves good. You know what I mean? Um, There's a lot of females that are so... Like, I believe there's beauty in every female. And they just don't take care of themselves. And I'm just looking at them like, why don't you want to be seen pretty? You know what I mean? I don't don't understand that. Oh, a guy's supposed to love you for who you are, but you want a guy that looks good. That didn't work that way. That's kind of not okay in the brain. Um... So, another subject I do want to bring up is you got to look at the way that you're living and the way that you think. Because if the way, the lifestyle you're living, you're only going to attract the same kind of guy over and over again. If, let's say, if you have a job, you know, or um, you have... Um, I'm sorry, I'm stopping and stopping. Uh, You have a job, you have everything together, you know, you don't need nothing from nobody, but you do want love. Boom. You're only going to attract what you bring to them, so you're going to attract, you know, men with bread, men that got it together. If you ain't got your shit together, even your mentality or your psychopathic woman thing going on, every woman has a psycho in them, so I don't want to hear shit, all right? Every woman, once that man cheats, y'all go psycho. Or you go quiet. And the quiet ones you should watch for, because they're psycho as hell. Um, co- continuing to this conversation. It is, um, you want to fall in love. You want happiness. Well, I think that you first have to fall deeply in love, passionately in love with you, yourself. Because all I know is the kind of lifestyle that you're living is the kind of lifestyle that they're going to think of. If you put yourself in the mind of a guy, put yourself, don't think about yourself, forget you exist for a second, and put yourself in a guy's mentality. If you were a guy, what kind of girl would you attract? And if you put a guy mentality on, and then look at yourself, tell me what you would see. Because if you were a guy, you would think like a guy. They don't know nothing about you. But let's say you're a stripper, okay? And all you do is twerk, and all you do is the pole thing going on, okay? I'm not judging anyone. A job is a job, and if you have to provide, provide. You know what I mean? But from a man's perspective... You don't, um, 
Okay. If I was a guy and I knew this girl, she might be pretty looking and, you know, I see a girl and I know she works at a strip club. My mentality would be like, uh, she's a stripper, so I'm going to fuck her and I'm going to leave because, you know, what, that's the way guys think. Not saying that's the way I'm think, you know. There's some girls that do stripping for college money. There's some girls that do stripping for kids because they have kids and a family to take care of by themselves, you know. Uh, but guys don't think that way. So maybe the job you got says everything about you. It might not be who you are, but that's what they say. It depends. It, it's like the way you dress tells you a lot about you. The way you work, the way you work tells a lot about you. The way you carry yourself tells a lot about you. You don't even have to say nothing. Some people can just look at you and be like, oh, she looks like a snobby bitch. You know, it doesn't, people don't understand this. And then, and they want something so perfect, but they're not even there yet. So how can you ask for anything, like something more than what you are? You have to be there in order to attract that. Okay. So. What I'm saying is, from a guy perspective, no one respects a stripper. Yeah, they like it. Because, you know, and you get to watch a free ass shaking. You get to get a free, um, you know, a couple of dollars. It's, it's fun. It's like porn to them. They don't take that shit seriously. That they, they, they see you guys as nobody to respect. You're just asses on there. And, you know, that's all you are to men. And that's... That's, that's the way guys' minds work. I think like a guy should, I should know, you know, and, and if, let's think about the other perspective. If you were to work as a secretary, or you were to work, um, at an airport, or whatever, or at FedEx, whatever, each one would have a different perspective. Oh, this girl works at FedEx. Oh, she must be hardworking. You know, and she must be very strong to lift all those boxes. Oh, uh, you know, she works at an airport. Oh, she must know important people, you know, or wow, she, you know, she's going places. She wants to succeed in life. Um, oh, she's a secretary, you know, she, you know, she's making good money. That means she has a good head on her shoulders. It, it, everything says something about you. So you got to look at all the things that are in your life. Like you got to categorize all this shit of your life. And then just say, what does this say about me? What does that say about me? What does this say about me? And then you'll slowly realize, I'm sorry. You'll slowly realize, my computer is dying. All right. You'll slowly realize what people's perspective of you is. If you put yourself in a, somebody else's shoes or just in a uh, made up person's shoes of a guy's perspective. And then think about it. Are you the kind of woman that you want it to be? Like, if you were a guy, what kind of guy, what kind of girl would you look for? And then see if that's who you are. And if it's not, then you're doing something wrong and you have to fix it. Um, I'm not saying anyone's doing anything wrong by trying to provide. I'm saying is you need to, what's what I'm trying to, okay. I'm trying to put it in other words. You need to fix yourself first. You got to evaluate your circumstances. Um, and maybe if you're good at something, you should um, try to see what else is good about you. Because um, I don't, I don't think that uh, that's what you had in mind in your future. I mean. How long can you do stripping? How long can you twerk? How long does that last in your life? And you know what I mean? How long can that last? Because pretty faces don't last, ladies. And you know, eventually, once you get older, you're going to have to find another job. And why wait till it's late? To find another job and then you won't know how to do jobs then because probably technology is going to be more you know what i mean um but don't take this as criticism take it as advice and take it as a friend giving you advice so um this has been me and my talks and i love everybody and i know that everyone's not perfect and i know i'm not perfect oh god no 
Oh, hell no. I Hell no. I'm not perfect at all. But everything I do say, I spit from the heart. I don't candy coat shit for anyone. I try to put it in nicer words, but I don't like candy coating shit for anyone because everything needs to be fucking said. Sorry, my language, but everything needs to be said, point blank. Doesn't matter who gets hurt or who gets their feelings hurt. The thing is, it needs to be said because it might sting, but in the long run, in the long run, it's going to help you, you know? So, it's been me, everyone. I love everyone. Have a good uh, St. Patrick's Day coming up, and um, see you guys.